How is life without having Mel Mel live with you? Are you moving? Mom, are you moving? He was looking up houses. He was sending me houses um, and stuff. Oh my God. You make me feel like there's blue skies and sunshine and everything will be alright. Cause I never have to worry. You always push me to my limit. At the end of the day, I know we're winning Cause you take me high Yeah, you take me high Oh, you take me high You take me high What's up you guys? It's your girl Monique back with another video. Today I wanted to do something a little bit more personal. Um, you guys have been requesting for a QA, and a and I was like okay well let me do a Q&A with these guys but let me do a very exclusive Q&A so I can you know feel a little bit closer to you guys. It's it's rare that I do have these moments where I share a lot of stuff um, so I think today will be a good day for that. Plus I'm in the Philippines the kids aren't here and we can get into some questions that you guys have been asking um but before i get into this video you guys make sure that you like subscribe and comment on my stuff um it's always appreciated i let you guys know this every single time and i thank you guys for your love and support let's get into this q a um you guys have been giving me a lot of questions a lot of questions and i'm gonna try to answer them as truthfully truthfully as possible and during since i'm in the philippines where I went to McDonald's. So I'm gonna give you guys a kind of a mukbang and a Q&A at once. So first of all, you guys get to see what kind of food they got at McDonald's. These are the fries. Excuse this nail, cause it broke and I don't even know who's supposed to fix it. Um, So we got some fries. Um, I got a lot of food, just for me. But I want to give you guys, like show you what, the, whoo! Um, this is, it's called, I don't know what it's called, but it's fried chicken and it comes with gravy and then it also comes with rice. Look at this. It's kind of cool. So I guess the rice, the gravy goes on the, whatever. And then I got, I got a lot of food. I just wanted you guys to see. Look at this. Spaghetti, guys. It's actually really good. So spaghetti, and then there's more chicken. And what else do I get? I just want to try a few bites of this stuff. Mmm. They got this. A bowl full of happiness. You guys, this is... Chicken katsu. And it has like, is that eggs? Ooh, I don't know if I'm gonna do eggs, but yeah. And they also have, this looks good to me. This is what their burgers look like. Whoa, that looks bad. Well, this is their burger, their cheeseburger. So we got all this food and let's get into, oh, and I also got a Coke Zero. All this food with a Diet Coke, exactly. Okay, so I am going to answer one of the first questions you guys asked me. And thank you guys for always like responding to like things that I ask. I think it's pretty cool. Um, the first question is, do you want more kids? The question, the answer to that is no, I do not want any more kids. Um, I don't want to birth any more kids. I don't know what the future holds for me as far as like adoption or anything like that. But um, I do love kids, but I do not want to have, I don't want to birth any more kids. Um, 
if I end up marrying somebody with kids, then that is just that. Our Mel Mel into shape protective over Brooklyn. I will say, yes, Mel Mel, you guys, they fight all the time and it looks like they don't get along. But Mel Mel is very, very, very protective over Brooklyn. And so is Deshae. Um, they're just now kind of letting her like do certain things. Like not, not so much date, but like kind of they're okay with her saying that she likes people. They would not let her like boys at all. Never. Not call them, not talk to them, anything. So they are very protective. So when you see Mel Mel and Brooklyn fighting, it's usually because... Brooklyn said a boy was cute or something like that. So, why didn't Mel Mel go to the Philippines with you guys? Um, Mel Mel did not want to miss school. Um, he also has like basketball tryouts as well. And he wanted to make sure that he was preparing himself for that. Um, Brooklyn's homeschooled. Deshae's graduated. So, Brooklyn was able to do her homework while we were out. Well, I guess I can try the spaghetti. You guys. Why isn't the... Oh my god, this is messy. The cheese is not even melted. But let's try it. Anyways. Mmm. It's good. It's like, it's like, have you guys ever had spaghetti with sugar in it? That's what it tastes like. Go to the next question. When does Brooklyn get her braces off? She gets her your guess is as good as mine. I've been trying to get them off, but she loves her braces. She loves them so much. She doesn't want to take them off. And so it's kind of frustrating because I have to pay for it every single month. She doesn't want to take them off like ever. Are you closer with your mom or dad's family? By the way, love you. Love you too. And I'm equally, I'm equally as close with both of my both sides of my family. I was raised in Seattle. My dad was raised in Seattle. My sister, my um, mom was raised in Seattle. So I was able to spend equal time with both sides of my family. But I'm, um, I guess we're close in our own ways. Filipino culture is a little bit different than African, than our African American culture. Like we do things a little bit different. Like we share more information of what's going on, you know, like the gossip and stuff that be going on in our family. But the black side, Whereas the Filipino side, stuff happens and we'll never know. Nobody talks about stuff, but we're all still close. Is it easy having Brooklyn be the only girl or does she ask for too much? Mmm. This tastes like a... This does not taste like... It tastes like tofu or something. A veggie burger. I don't think I like this. Or a turkey burger. Maybe it is a turkey burger. I don't like that. Um, is it easy, Brooklyn? You know what, you guys? As much as you guys talk about me and Brooklyn's relationship, I enjoy Brooklyn. Like, Brooklyn is probably... When Brooklyn's not around, I get sad. The boys are cool, but Brooklyn... That's my dog. Like, I love Brooklyn. She's like... My best friend almost you know like well she is kind of like my best friend that i birthed i guess but um she's funny like she says things that i may be too embarrassed to say but brooklyn's funny like she gets on my nerves though but i love like i love brooklyn so much um i love them all but she's the only girl she's she's special to me they're all special but she's the only girl um, and does she ask for too She, You know what? She really doesn't ask for a lot. They all ask for too much. But Brooklyn is more... Mm, she's very considerate. But I love Brooklyn. What do I love most about my kids? I love how they interact with each other. Even though like, they like joke around. Even though they argue. Like every single moment that they're all three together. I'm... I feel happy and they know that they make fun of me because I'm always taking pictures. They're like, oh, mom's going to take a picture. I love when they're all three together. Like, but I do because it's just like, I don't know. They're very close and we've been through like 
really bad times together we've been through really great times together and it's just like we've been together like regardless of like if we were homeless regardless if we had to share you know like if we didn't have money for food but we had to share all you know the food that we had like we rock together you know it d d didn't matter if our lights were off like whatever you know we've been through some stuff so but we've we've been through it together so when i see them bond the way that they bond even if they're arguing or whatever like it makes me happy so i love their bond and they're all funny like my kids are so funny so that makes me happy too um What is it like to be famous and having famous kids? You know, this happens so fast. Um, I wouldn't call myself famous. Uh, I think we're a, a very popular, popular family. Like we're very, um, I think we're popular. Um, but it can be, it can be weird sometimes because like everything that we do, we do it behind the camera so like i'm talking to you guys right now there's no one in this room so like a whole bunch of people are going to see this video excuse me a whole bunch of people are going to see this video but i don't know that they see it so when they see it and then i see them in public and they're just staring at me i'm like what do you what are they staring at and i forget that you know i'm on youtube sometimes or you know it's just like i don't like people staring at me anyway so when they stare too long I, you know, I'd be kind of nervous, like, okay, what, what are you looking at? That type of situation. But otherwise, um, seeing people and our, and our supporters in person, it, it can be a very beautiful thing. Cause you know, like instead of a comment saying, oh, you know, thanks for your support and all that type of stuff. Like to be able to like tell them face to face or tell you guys face to face, thank you. And you know, thanks for your support. It It's, it's great. And then we can, you know, the fact that People get happy when they see us and they get to meet us. Any future projects you're working on? Mm. Yes. Um, yes, there are future projects I'm working on. Um, there's a few things. So with Brooklyn, Brooklyn's going to be releasing her own hairline. Like we're in the process, in the works of releasing her own hairline right now. Um, so you you guys are going to see some really cool stuff come from that. You're going to see a photo shoot. Um, Brooklyn's about to pop out, you guys. You guys can't wait. Just wait. It's going to be so cute. Um, she's doing that. So I'm helping her do that. Um, let me see. Deshay is working on music. He's working on new music, you guys. You guys heard it from me first. And I know he's probably been saying a little bit of stuff about it online. But um, I've heard some of the stuff that he's been working on. And it's it's actually really really good so i'm excited for him so we're going in that direction with him um mel mel is slowly but surely picking up doing youtube a little bit um he's not really into youtube like that but he does you know like certain videos he like he's okay with doing you know so i'm just helping him navigate through that and he's you know i'm just making sure he's doing getting what he needs like for sports and stuff like that so those are the pro oh and we're also doing as a family we're going to be doing some philanthropy projects and philanthropy is just um stuff that we're doing as far as uh for thanksgiving and for christmas we're going to be doing some um stuff in our city we're going to be doing some things in our city helping the less fortunate and stuff like that um oh my gosh do you see yourself back with AJ? Um, the answer to that question is, do I see myself back with AJ? No, I don't. Um, if you guys don't know, AJ is my ex-boyfriend. Uh, we dated for like seven years. And um, just recently, since this is an exclusive Q&A, um, when you guys seen him in my vlogs and stuff, he came up to LA to visit for a little while and um you know he was going through some stuff so you know just like a break breath of fresh air you know come to LA do some videos and you know just kind of hang out for a little bit um naturally a little bit of feelings were sparked you know like we had a you know kind of a decent relationship however we both decided that 
it was you know we're better off as friends and and that's okay so you know we had a good seven year run but he's a he, you know he's a cool guy but just not for me who's your idol um i do not have an idol and i suggest you guys don't have an idol either however there are people that i look up to i do right now i do admire chris jenner um i see i see what i want to do is kind of following her structure and what she does with her kids and her family so um just kind of being a powerhouse and helping navigate her kids like how you know navigate the kids through businesses of their own and stuff like that so i'm definitely wearing a lot of hats uh actually i've been wearing ddg's hat and you guys keep snitching on me about that too but but i do wear a lot of different hats um a mom uh, i'm deshay's manager uh you know um trying to be back to visit mel mel like as often as i can and and stuff like that so definitely um it's a lot on my plate but i do admire chris jenner what did i do as a job before youtube um I, I i mentioned this briefly on my on i mentioned this briefly on my instagram page um i what did i do actually there's a couple things i did i've always worked in entertainment so i was a project manager for this company called Mize, which was ran by deborah antney she's it's still ran by deborah antney which is um waka flocka's mom so i did product management for waka nikki gucci oj the juice man and then we had like muffy and then we had a band um so i did a lot of i did that for that company and that was cool and i also that's when i lived in atlanta so i got a lot of experience doing that which was great because now it helps me be able to manage deshay and other youtubers that um or other social media talent social media influencers that are interested in being managed so it's it's good even though it's the music industry which helps a lot too because deshay is getting back into the mu music industry and i can help him navigate through that easily because of the fact that i've already worked in it for a long time do you know who brooklyn's boyfriend is and can you please tell people oh, tell people to follow you not gonna tell people to follow you but brooklyn does have a boyfriend um oddly i haven't met him yet so i know who he is um he's a he's related to did did she tell you guys who he was already but yeah she is dating someone um it's very new uh, she's been telling me about it since i've been here but i do want to meet him but she does have a boyfriend and I don't think she publicly announced it yet, but I don't know if I could tell you guys that. Yeah, I don't know if I could tell you guys that. Well, I think Deshay did a video about it, but she does. Um, so I'm going to do another video with her because I want to find out more about this person. Whose birth was the hardest of all my kids? They're all C-sections. I never gave, I never had a regular birth, so I don't know what that feels like, but my body's pretty small. My kids had really big heads, so I had to get C-section. C-section is when they cut your stomach open and pull the baby out. Sorry, parents, if you didn't have that conversation with your kids yet. Whoa, what happened with you and Shaka? I knew that was going to come up. Um, Me and Shaka, we were friends. We've been friends since high school. Um, And again it just it didn't work out and it's okay mm. we're still friends kind of i guess but i mean we're probably always gonna be friends but it's just one of those situations that i felt like um i was growing differently i was growing in a different space than he was so um I'm weird like that. Not even weird. I'm gonna I'm gonna say this to you guys. You guys, recognize your power. When you know that you're walking in a certain purpose and you have people in your life that may not align with where you're going, 
it's okay and, and you might not feel that you don't owe those people anything so it's okay to walk away or to move away from a certain situation it's completely fine because you're being true to who you are it's called self-love and self-care but there's no hate it's all good mm. next question um what made you want to start YouTube and is it more money than a scheduled job? Um, it gives me time to spend more time with my kids. Um, and Deshay was doing YouTube already. We were actually really good on Instagram together. We did skits together. But in YouTube, he started doing a lot of videos and stuff with his sister and stuff. And some with me. But I was like, okay, let me start a YouTube page and house all of our family stuff. So that kind of, my channel came, you know, just spending more time with the families, more family stuff like Sunday dinners and stuff like that, um, which is fine. And yeah, I was able to quit my job. So it, it, I get paid way, way, way more than I did at my other job. But, you know, like anything, it's a lot of work. It's very stressful sometimes. Um, yeah, it can be very stressful because with YouTubers, there's so much there's so much of a high demand of people that want to watch content, watch content, I watch this, I want to watch this, and then we have to put out videos every day. So our house, what it looks like inside is, all right, Deshay, I'll see you later. I'm about to go to the store. Wait, mom, you can't go to the store. You got to shoot this video. Well, Deshay, I have to go to the store. No, because then no one's gonna shoot the video. I need someone to shoot the video. You can't go. So then it's like, oh my God, okay. All I need is 10 minutes. Then it takes 30 minutes. Then I miss whatever appointment I had or I can't go to the store because I got to shoot a video. But when I need him, I might need him to shoot a video. And he's like, oh mom, I got to go. I got to go to this event. Oh, but I need you to shoot this video. I'll do, when I, I'll do it when I get back. And then it's just like, oh, I need to post it at a certain time. Oh, what's wrong with the Wi-Fi? I need to post this video. It's not posting. So. We go through a lot of stuff like that, or it's just like, oh, you know, let's cook a Sunday dinner. Oh, let's vlog it. You know, oh, let's go get my hair done. Oh, we can vlog it. So it's like, sometimes it's hard to find that personal space because we share our whole lives with you guys on, on YouTube. So we try to capture every moment that we can, especially I do, I try to, so you know, it's like that. And so we're always trying to find the next good thing, you know, to keep us, to keep you guys entertained and to keep us kind of relevant, you know, so. Mm. So how did you cope with knowing Deshay was doing adult things? Um, and did you mentally prepare yourself prior or after the fact? Um, This is a good question. In terms of Deshay like wanting to move out and stuff like that or just having a girlfriend and stuff like that. Um, me and Deshay, Deshay was my first kid. You know, we were very, very close. Not to say the other ones weren't, but he was with me for a long, long time. Um, like, he stayed home with me. Um, so we have this bond that is very close. Like, the other kids will go, go off and do other things or go with their dad and hang out with their dad. But Deshay always wanted to kind of stay with me. Um, I don't know, like, I will say that his first breakup, I felt like I was going through a breakup, you know, cause, uh, it was hard. Like he wasn't eating. Um, it was just, it was hard. I found myself in my room, like not depressed, but I was wondering why I was so sad. And it was because he was sad. Like sometimes I feel his emotions and his it's crazy like it, it's weird I don't know but um yeah during his breakup when he was going through that I felt like I was going through a breakup too like he wasn't eating I wasn't really eating um I would just be in my room like laying there for hours just on my phone or watching tv or something like that just for hours I didn't want to get up I didn't know why I was sad though but he was doing the same thing in his room you know like just not talking not coming out so like I had to get strong for him and 
shake it off so I could help him push through that, you know? So that was tough, you know? So there's a lot of things that it, it gets harder as the kids get older, I think, because it's like, I start having to deal with stuff emotionally and not so much like, oh, they have to be at practice at a certain time. Oh, they get out of school a certain time. But it's now it's like, okay, so these are emotional things that I got to help him navigate through or, you know, like self-identity things. And, you know, um, same with Brooklyn, like Brooklyn had a breakup and I didn't even know she had a breakup. You know, she was, she didn't really talk to me about it, but, um, I wasn't, she didn't talk to me about it, so I couldn't really be there for her. So I think she was kind of sad about it in her own way, you know? So, you know, stuff like that. Like Amari had a breakup. Uh, actually, Amari didn't have a breakup. I made Amari break up with his girlfriend. I made the shade. At a certain age, I didn't let the kids have boyfriends and girlfriends. So anytime the shade wanted a girlfriend, I'd be like, no, you guys need to break up. It's not time, you know, you got your career to focus on, blah, blah, blah. And he would always break up with the girl. But then, you know, he had his first girlfriend in like, well, his, you know, adult first girlfriend at like 17. Um, same as Mel Mel, you know. Didn't need to be with a girl, but yeah. Are you looking for a boo or wanting to be available? Um, I do. So I've been single for about almost a year now. Um. I have a habit, or not a habit, but I've tend, if you guys have noticed, like, I've entertained relationships that I was previously in. Um, me and Shaka broke up a long time ago, but we kind of, like, tried tried it again, and it just didn't really work out. But, like, I have a fear, not even a fear of meeting people new, but I don't know if I have trust issues. I don't know what it is, but... Sometimes I have a fear of meeting new people. Um, but I think I'm allowing myself to do that now. Um, yeah, I I have to because it's just like I can't keep revisiting a past situation because I find comfort in them knowing who I was. Because anytime you have to start over, you have to teach the person who you are they don't know you you know so that can be like i i don't know i just don't i haven't really been in the dating you know like the dating scene like that um but i do like somebody i just i'm crushing right now he's all right but everything i do i'm probably going to keep it well i am going to keep it very private since the majority of my relationships were on, done on social media. I'm gonna just keep certain things to myself. So kids don't know, but it don't matter though. Um, it's just a crush. I don't even think he knows. Um, But yeah, eventually I wanna be married. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want a boyfriend. I don't want to date, you know, eventually I'll, I'll get married. Um, do you plan on being back with the kid's dad? No. Um, I love Jamel. Like, we are, we've known each other since kindergarten. And we're not, mm, we're okay at co-parenting. We're, we're actually really, really good friends. Um, uh, whether, you know, like, we have, like, these silent arguments or whatever. But we've been friends, like, for our whole lives pretty much. So it's just, like, just because we, we're not together anymore and it's fine. We're, we're still good friends. Like, we try to do a lot of stuff as a family. Like, he dates people, and I date people, and we accept the people that we date and into each other's situation. Like, it's never a big deal. We're still, you know, strictly friends. Is Deshay single? Yes, Deshay is single. He is no longer in a relationship. You guys should know that. How is life without having Mel Mel live with you? Um, without Mel Mel, it's 
it can be very um it's weird <clears throat> because I try to overcompensate as being a mom to make him feel like I'm there, which can be extremely difficult. Um, so sometimes I feel like I'm torn between both ki like the kids. Mel Mel needs me. Deshay needs me. Deshay lives in LA. I can't leave Deshay. Melma lives in Seattle with all of our family, but he still wants his mom. Um, there was a point in time Melma was calling me every single day. He was like, mom, are you moving? Mom, are you moving? He was looking up houses. He was sending me houses um, and stuff. Oh my God. <clears throat> so yeah that it can be very, it's a very touchy subject for me so I try not to talk about it um I do I'm still trying to figure it out we're trying to figure it out guys um yeah um Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. Sorry, guys. Um, love you guys. Thank you guys for f subscribing. Thanks for everything. And like I always say, mo gang or no gang, we out this thing.